Hi and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to explore themes that you feel really connected to, places or subject matter, something that you want to um, explore creatively, maybe make some paintings or some other sort of type of artistic creation. Um, with some somewhere that you feel a strong love for or a strong connection. It could be the landscape near where you live. It could be something from memory. It could be a holiday place or somewhere you long to retire to. Somewhere that you lived many, many years ago. But some something that's important to you that you really want to express your feelings about uh, within a piece of art. Well, my special place that I'm exploring in my new series on Patreon is about my local beach and the light and the beauty there and the strong connection that I feel and how I can begin to explore that connection um, and begin to experiment and try and find out how to paint expressively. And of course, the aim here is to help you to see how you can begin to explore your own place that you have those special connections to. But first, I've made sure that I've really soaked in the atmosphere of this beautiful beach, this time of day, this, this season of um, late summer, early autumn. Um, it's evening and there's a real sense of peace and tranquility the first part of the Patreon lesson looks at how we can work out what it is that we want to express, the feelings, the thoughts, the sense of place or sense of connection, how we can describe that. And that gives us a good starting point to then try and choose some colours that we think may uh, begin to help us to express that. And this was my first experiment using my first set of colours that I chose. And while this hasn't really turned out the way that I wanted it to. It's a great starting point because here I can see the colours that I like and the way they work on the page together and I can also see the colours that I chose that I don't like. And instead of thinking, oh, this doesn't work, I'm not keen on this, I don't like it, and then putting it aside, then I'm showing you that I will sit and analyse it and I will put these little experiments into my sketchbook and make notes in my sketchbook about the colours, about the styles, about what I like, what I don't like and what I want to take further forward. And I think it's important to stress that there should, there needs to be um, just as much thinking time and um, as, as actual practical painting. Uh, and it's this thinking and decision making and curating of your choices which helps you to then begin to explore your themes in a completely unique way because nobody will make those same choices that you make as to the, the colours and the parts of your experiments that you like and that you want to take forward to the next stage. So the next thing that I do is... Um, exclude the colours that I didn't like in my previous experiment and just play with the ones that I did like and just see what happens. And so I'm playing here more with the pinks and the lavenders, keeping a lighter touch, keeping plenty of unpainted paper and just see how these colours that I prefer work together and I'm really enjoying painting with them. And I think that's a clue. If you're really enjoying and getting a good feeling from the colours that you're using, that usually means that you're on the right track in your explorations. And I think it's really important to state here that while I give quite a few demonstrations here on YouTube and Patreon. Um, these demonstrations are really just showing you how I approach a subject. It's not the only way. It just happens to be the way that I've chosen to explore what I want to explore. And hopefully all these sort of demos and um, explorations that I share with you will give you some ideas and give you the confidence to begin to experiment yourself without fear of failure. There's no such thing as failure with these sorts of experiments. Experiments, everything will move you a little bit further forward. 
and however the paintings turn out, look at them with a sort of a, a really critical and non-judgmental eye and see which bits you don't like and then you can exclude those things, colours, styles, etc, marks from your next experiments. But look at the marks that you like. Look at the sort of accidental happenings that occurred on the page as you painted wet in wet and take those further forward um, into your work and see what happens with those experiments just using the parts of the previous experiment that you really liked. And you'll find that if you just keep being curious, wondering what will happen if you try this or what will happen if you try that and not minding if some things work and some things don't work, then you'll be working um, in a really productive way and working towards creating some unique and very expressive art. But above all, you'll be really enjoying the process rather than some people find watercolour painting intimidating. But you can take that out of the process by just replacing it with curiosity and not minding failure because failure is all part of the trial and error that every single artist goes through in order to create unique and expressive work. Well, if you enjoyed watching that process, then everything is covered in much more depth in the workshop over on Patreon. So follow the link below if you're interested in that. And there'll be more workshops there next Wednesday and the Wednesday after, exploring this theme further in a mixed media way along with plenty of resources to download, including copies of my sketchbook pages for you to refer to. Well, I hope that's given you some ideas and inspired you as to how to sort of maybe start working on exploring how to express your special place, the place that you feel a connection to, how to explore that creatively. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everyone that supports the channel on Patreon. We really appreciate you. And I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.